Wonder how we shy away to come to take the throne To conquer world powers, bring Jake the home I'm quarterbacking like Jake DeLone Like Mount Rushmore, I got a face of stone Hold on, man, real quick, look at this wickedness Look, 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 look at this, look at this Look, 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 look at this, man Look at this, man Get, um Hold on, man Give me, uh, give me Exodus chapter 20. Hey, man. Look, look, Catholic church, y'all are some wicked individuals, man. Right? Y'all are worshiping idols up in there. That's a house of idols, all right? Give me, no, I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's literally a house of idols. This is what I, this is what I want. Give me, uh, uh, give me, uh, uh, Syrah chapter 10. And I believe the, uh, uh, the first verse, right? Give me that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Right. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Look at that. These, if these be the people of the Most High God, which they do not, Sirach chapter 10, verse 1. These be the people of the Most High God, right? Why they in there breaking God's laws? Didn't Yahweh shot, didn't, didn't they, didn't they, Jesus Christ in chapter, in Matthew 4, verse 4, said, uh, 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 man shall not eat by bread alone, by what? By every word. Read. Right. Verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image right. or any likeness of anything uh -huh. that is in heaven above right. or that is in the earth beneath. And that's what they're doing up there. They got a whole picture of Sezi B chilling in the front, man, and a whole statue of him, right? You got that in South Let me get that. Let me make sure. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yep. Give me that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10. A wise judge will instruct his people, right? And the government of a prudent man right. is well ordered, right? As the judge of the people uh, is himself, right? So are his officers, right? As the judge of the people are so are his officers, right? So let's look at the Catholic Church, right? They have a whole city called Vatican City. Who's the head? They have this this pope, right? And yet, how 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 many how many counts endless counts of pedophilia have gone on in the Catholic Church history, man? How, millions, millions of counts of children, boys and little girls, being molested, man, sexually abused in the Catholic Church, right? As the as the judge of as the judge of the people is, so are his officers, man. And who's the judge of these Catholic people? Cesare Borgia, who faked the identity of Jesus Christ, man. That's who that leader is, man. He was a, he was a pedophile, man. He was an incest baby, man. He liked to go after his own sister. And you people who packed this church, the people of our people, you blacks and Hispanics who go in this Catholic church, man, y'all going off, man. Give me John 8, give me, give me John 8 and 48, man. Because y'all y'all literally going, y'all y'all lead is the damn devil, man, that the Bible speaks of. And y'all his children out here, man. Y'all need to repent of that wickedness, man. All right, give me that. John, this is John chapter 8 and verse 44. Right? Ye are of your father the devil. What are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who be packing the Catholic Church whose, whose, whose leaders are pedophiles? Ye are of your father the devil. Read. And the lust of your father ye will do. And, and look, man, y'all gonna get pulled in. I, I guarantee you. R. Kelly probably went to the Catholic Church a couple times. <laughs> I guarantee and I stand by it, man. And, I get, and, and that's just like uh, so many other counts of our, of our poor sisters who be going in, 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 these, in these Baptist churches and whatnot. And you got wicked pastors and deacons doing the same thing. Why? Because they all stem from the Catholic Church, man. And who is their leader? Cesare Borgia. A right. pedophile and a rapist and a murderer, man. Right. All right? Finish that out. He was a murderer from the beginning. And whether they're murdering our people spiritually, man. And it was the, it was the Christians who did this, man. Who raped, robbed, and murdered our people. Y'all are murderers from the beginning, all right? Go on. And abode not in the truth. Y'all don't abide in the truth, man. Give me that back in Psalms 119 and 140. Y'all don't even know what the truth is, man. Right. Can anybody in that Catholic church tell me what y'all learned today? Did you learn John 3.16? Did y'all go back there and say, yes, a pastor, you can touch my little boy. Oh, yes, you can. I guarantee somebody did, man. I guarantee somebody did, man. Somebody just watched Pace. Like, look at this. Look at this guy. He's going he gonna, he gonna to do something to that little boy. Oh, I'm going to raise my boy. Yeah, y'all some sick, wicked individuals, all right? What all right. You, go ahead. Uh, and he, he was a murderer from the beginning and a boat not in the truth uh -huh. because there is no truth uh -huh. in him. Uh-huh. When he speaketh a, when he speaketh a lie, uh-huh. He's speaking of his own. They speak their own lies, man. And they do nothing but tell lies in these Catholic churches, man. And all these other church houses. They do nothing but pack lies. And no, no, finish that out. We're going to finish that out. But they do nothing but pack and See, look, that's why he had to run back in the building, man. He had to run back in the building because why he getting rebuked? Give me, uh, uh, um, give me, finish that out. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 14. For he is a liar. He's a what? 
For he is a liar. What is the Catholic Church? A liar. What is St. Jude Catholic Church? A liar. What is the Pope's Catholic Church in the Vatican City? A liar. Or all these Christian churches? A liar. What is anybody that's not teaching, thus saith the Lord, these laws, statutes, commands that and the Israelites are blessed men and Native Americans? A liar. If y'all ain't doing that, y'all are liars. If y'all ain't teaching the, the, the law and the prophets, y'all are what? Liars. That's what y'all are, man. Y'all ain't nothing but liars and deceivers out here, man. Right. Y'all over here leading the flock to destruction, man. And y'all own people going to die and y'all going to realize that y'all have been brought up in nothing but lies in this world, man. That's understand right. that. Give me that in Jeremiah 5 and 14, man. Because y'all understand that y'all getting flamed up. What you want? What's good? You just listening? You got a question? No? Do you understand what I'm saying over here? What I'm saying is that the Catholic Church and every church that stems from it are liars and deceivers and any black, Hispanic, and Native American that's packing these churches need to repent or they're going to get put to death, thus saith the Lord. That's right. That's what we're saying. Okay. <laughs> I can't hear you. Come, come over here. I can't hear you. Hold, hold your mind five before two. I'm calling it down. I'm calling it down. I'm about to flame them up. That's why. <laughs> I was saying that all these churches, so called, all the all black Hispanics and Native Americans who be packing the church houses, Catholic churches, and all denominations the thereof. They are going to be put to death, thus saith the Lord, unless they repent from that wickedness. The Catholic Church and every other Christian church has done nothing but lie and deceive many people. Get Act 7. And uh, 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 was it uh, 38 and 48? Does that does that make sense? Do you, do you agree or disagree that Christian churches lie and deceive people? You have no idea. Do you have any religious background or denomination of any kind? What's your background? And with, and with that, she's got to go. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 14. Uh, yeah, give me uh, still give me that next, but I want this first. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Right. Worse, uh, wherefore thus saith the Lord. Right. God of hosts. Right. Because ye speak this word. Because we speak this word in boldness. We speak, thus saith the Lord, we teach these laws, these statutes, and commandments. Because we speak this word, what? Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. We like Dylan up here, man. We spit hot fire. Alright? That's why they look at that. They look, they cleared and went right back into that Catholic church, man. It got too hot out here for them, man. We come out here, we, we, we spit this this super hot fire, man. Matter of fact, get uh um, drop acts. Give me that. I want to say in, 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 in John uh or Matthew. I baptize you with the spirit and fire. Give me that. I will make my words in thy mouth fire. We spit that hot fire, man. Why? Because we speak Thus said the Lord out here, man. We come in here and, and speak boldly. We tell our people the truth. And it's it, it's a fire to these people. They get burnt up like wood. Finish that. And these people would, uh -huh. and they shall devour them. And they're getting devoured out here, man. They're gonna, there's going to be a physical fire that come in that latter day and consume right. them up. Right now, we got to spit that spiritual fire, man. All right? Hey, look at this weird dude, man. Your, your Nikes don't match your jacket, man. All right? Give me that. <laughs> I baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, let me see, let me see. That's a must need. Isaiah 6, uh, you can get, yeah, no, you can get Isaiah 66. But I want, but I specifically want that. Let me see. Baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. I know, I know it's in John too, because I was going over it uh, the other day. 3 and 15, Baba Kushat. This is the book of Luke, chapter 3, verse 15, right? It says, John answered, saying unto them, uh -huh. All I indeed baptize, uh, baptize you with water, right? But one mightier than I cometh, uh -huh. and latcheth, latcheth, uh, so like the latches of shoes, I am not worthy to unloose. And John the Baptist, who was Elijah coming back, was to make the way for Yahweh to come forth, man. And that's who he's talking about. What's going on, young one? You doing all right? All right. Come on. He shall he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost uh -huh. and with fire. He's gonna baptize us with the Holy Spirit and with fire. What did we just read in Jeremiah 5 and 14? That fire is that word that the most I put in our mouths, man. You still got John? Or Jeremiah, my bad? Jeremiah? Get it again real quick. We gotta reiterate this thing, man. Give me that. This is Jeremiah. It's like five to fourteen. 
uh -huh. chapter 5 and verse 14. Right. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, right. because ye speak this word, right. behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. And we getting baptized with this word, man. We getting baptized with the Holy Spirit and what? And with this fire that the Most High done put in our mouths, man. Right. All right? Now give me a, uh, what's your holy? Isaiah? Hold, hold Isaiah before you get there. Give me that in Psalms 119 and 142, man. All right? Because, you know, we, we, we got we got to get these precepts, man. Because y'all have to understand, this fire is not going to be calm, man. It's going to spread like wildfire, all right? And y'all getting consumed out here in the spirit, man. Y'all getting killed spiritually out here with this fire, man. All right? We, again, the Israelites are dialing, dialing, and dialing. We spit hot fire, all right? What you got? Uh, uh, give me... Uh, He's gonna get well, go ahead, go ahead. The Psalms chapter 119 and 142. Right. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Right. And thy law is the truth. And that's what we spit, man. These laws, these statutes, and these commandments, and it's a fire to them, man. They don't want us to spit these things, man. They don't want us to spit these truths. Why? Because then they, they then they get they get sad. They 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 hold their whole day is just ruined. You mean to tell me my kingdom gonna fall? You goddamn right that your kingdom is gonna fall, man. Alright? Uh, what's, you got someone on that team? He just right there. Absolute. Now give me that, now say. This is book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 172. Right. It says, my tongue uh -huh. shall speak of thy word. Right. For all thy commandments are righteous. All the commandments are righteous, man. That's what we speaking out here, man. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, what's your ethnicity, man? Where you from? Yeah. You from here? Yeah. Okay, what's your, what's your ethnicity? So call black man? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Do you, do you, uh, do you believe in any like religious tenets or do you have like a spiritual belief? Yeah. You believe in? Uh, I believe uh, God himself. I believe in God himself? Yeah. Okay, God of the Quran, the Bible. No, God himself. I am God. So you're an autotheist. Autotheist just means that you believe in, that yourself is the power, is the God. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Where uh, is, do you, do you uh, get your moral compass from now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Of course, good. Uh, okay. Decisions good and bad. Pick the right one. I can't hear you, bro. Come Decisions good or bad. I pick the right one. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So let me ask you this: Do you think, for from what blacks and Hispanics go through, right? Do you think that what we go through is bad? Of course, right? Do you think it, you you believe that you are the power, right? Do you, and as that power, do you believe that there should be a recompense for what we've gone through for the past 500 years? What do you think should happen? You know what? You need a check? Okay, so now I have to ask you a very logical question. So, if someone offered you $150 million to kill your grandmother, are you okay with that? So then why do you want a check for the rape, rob, and murder of your people? Okay. I, I get that aspect, but you do see the, the takeoff. You taking a check from the same people who raped, robbed, and murdered your ancestors is the equivalent to you saying, okay, I'll take 150 million so you can kill my grandmother. What would they give you? They give you 150 million dollars just to kill your grandmother. I'm saying take away the 150 million. Okay. What would they give you? After what they've done. Well, what would be the equivalent? What, what can make things even? What can make things equal? There's not, there's really nothing that can be evil, right? Now we up here, we believe in the scriptures that come with it, right? We believe in the God of the Bible, and we believe that Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we are the people that He has chosen specifically, right? You got Revelation 13? What you got? Come on, give me that. Watch this. It's the book of Second uh, uh, Thessalonians chapter one verse six, right? It says, "Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." It's that get back. You know, somebody smack you across your face, the next thing is the what? Smack them across the face, right? Watch this. this is Gal uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Right. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You agree with that? What you what you put in is what you get out, right? Yeah. So if people put, you know, they sow rape, rob, murder, and death of the land, what would they reap? They, they read that same thing, right? So, so that, that's the only equivalent that can happen for now. Give me Revelation 13, right? Now watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Right. Says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. 
that fair? One people leads another people into captivity. That people should go into captivity. Is that fair? Why is that not fair? Because they put you in captivity. If if someone kidnaps you and beats you out of beats your knowledge yourself out of what is the, what 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 is equal to, to to that happen? Should they not? Now I'm gonna say you don't have to go to that same degree or length, but at least the captivity part, right? They put you in servitude. They should be put in servitude. That even is it fair? For those people directly. For those people directly. Not so much everybody. Well, okay. Look, the people that put you in captivity and the people who benefit from putting you in captivity should they not go into captivity? To some extent, right? Go on. You believe in karma, right? Yeah. It goes around, come around. So, so basically the same thing. Exactly. This uh, same right. verse. It says, He that killeth with the sword right. must be killed with the sword. They, they get killed? Like, like how many times you see, you know, you'll, you'll see you'll see in the hood somebody spin up on the ops and what? The ops go spin up on them, right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it, it's just, let, let's put it in a grander scale, right? We've been getting killed and murdered for over 500 years. So the only thing that'd be equal to it, but for that, for those people who ever did it, should also be getting killed, especially if they're benefiting from it, right? Would you agree with that? Okay, okay.